Alrighty, so I got the mini bike to about 60 miles an hour. I think it was like 59.61 or something like that with a four to one gear ratio. So it has a uh, 18 tooth clutch and a 72 rear sprocket. But the thing is with the 72 rear sprocket, when you lean the bike over with a five inch tire, the sprocket literally will hit the ground if you lean the bike way over, you know? So, to fix that problem, I picked up this 60 tooth sprocket. So I'm gonna put a 60 tooth on there and that'll get rid of the problem of leaning the bike over. But at the same time, it's gonna change the gear ratio from a four to one to a 3.33. So on paper, this thing will do over 70 miles an hour if it does 7,200 RPM. And um, I think the engine's doing around 73 right now, 73 or 74 with the way it's built right now. So I'll, if it has enough torque to pull that gear, a 3.33, this thing should do over 70 miles an hour on paper, which would be kind of scary on this little bike. But anyway, so that'll be the after effect of putting a 60 tooth on the back. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and put that sprocket on there and then um, I'll do a speed test and see what happens. I'm not sure if I'll go 70, but I'll see what happens. Pop off this axle. I don't even think I have to take the brake off this time. Maybe not. Let me see. This thing popped out of here. Man, this tire is small. These five inch tires are short, man. I think it's only like 11 inches tall. So that sprocket is pretty close, especially when you put weight on it. There's that. Yeah, that thing is, um, that's a big sprocket. And what's cool about it, I didn't even have to take off the brake or anything. Makes it easy. And that's quite a bit of a difference. I think that'll help it out a lot where I can actually lean the bike over. That'll be nice. Without scraping the chain on the ground. I'm gonna lift the air out. All right. Well, at least it's an easy enough swap. Alrighty then. That was easy enough. Yeah, what a difference, huh? That's a big difference. Anyway, man, that was a nice easy swap. I might end up having to change the clutch from um, maybe like an 18 tooth down to like, uh, I don't know, a 12, 14 or something like that again to bring the ratio back down. Because this thing, I don't know how it's gonna run with this kind of a 3.33 ratio. All right, there we go. 60 tooth versus 72. Yeah, the 72 is a nice sprocket for like, yeah, like a six inch, uh, six inch wheel or something like that. But man, that thing is too big for this uh, five inch wheel. So I think this thing's gonna make a really nice difference. 
put the spacer back in here. Yep, definitely too much steam. Just a little bit too much steam. Alrighty then. Put these spacers in here. There we go. And it'd be nice sometime to uh, actually upgrade this thing with a disc brake because this brake does not scrub speed very good. Especially when you're going 60, 70 miles an hour. There, this brake is not good. All right. Got that on there. Now I just gotta take and pull some of this chain off. That's what's cool about this chain breaker, man. It makes it nice, super nice. Just pull some, pull some links off, really easy. Without having to use master links. Yeah, that thing's cool, man. Pops it right out. Alrighty then. There's that. So. Maybe I'll do one more. Let's see. I hate it when I push it too far and I pop the pin completely out. I like leaving the pin in there just a little bit. That way it's easy to start up next time when you hook it back together. All right, yep, left the link in it. See, I like leaving the, the um, pin in there because sometimes when I pop it all the way out, it's hard to push it back in. Pop these two back together, hopefully. There we go. Push that pin back in there. With the other side. And bam, there we go. Go ahead and tighten up this chain. All right, let's pump up this tire. It should be good to go. All righty, put the valve stem back in this thing and pump this tire up and we should be good to go. All righty then. All righty, you're gonna see what this thing will do. 60 tooth sprocket on the rear and an 18 tooth clutch so we'll see if the engine can even pull that that much gear a 3.33 
on take two. The last run did 67.48. I'll see if I can top that. Right, the second run it topped it it did 68.15 miles per hour and it felt like it was still pulling a little bit this thing is fast man with that gear all right the mini bike did 68.15 miles per hour with the uh, 62 on the back and an 18 on the front